All right, love bugs. Take that love vitamin. Thank you for your love and support to the channel. Let's take a looky look and get a message from or about your divine counterpart. Um, love bugs, don't forget we do have the refresher course if you are still having some issues identifying your gift, uh, how to use your talents, even identifying them and your spiritual abilities. So you can book that through Cash App only. But the um, information is on the community board. It's on the website, but I'm only taking cash out payments. Boop. All right, yeah. Let's get this message, honey buns. Let's see what you need to know from or about your divine counterpart. Holy Spirit, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? <coughs> Excuse me. What do they need to know about their divine counterpart? Ooh. Um, let your friends help. So this is the kind of person where um, they could, for whatever reason, is not be the kind of. It's not that they're a coward, but it's a, they're the kind of person they they like for friends to hook them up. So some of you all, you can have a friend that like a mutual friend, associate, or they, they know your family member or something like that, colleague, church um, member, coworker, and they're um, asking them to hook the hook y'all up, or you all are at some sort of odds, then you have a person that's trying to be a mediator, very healthy. They want you to stay optimistic. So there could be some sort of turbulence in this relationship and this connection, but they feel like I'm going to let you know for sure it's worth waiting for. Now, the worth waiting for card came out twice. So your divine counterpart is saying, look, baby, hold on to me. Hold on to us. See that we are a special kind. Know that it's hard to find, but baby, I'm trying to something, something, something. Just hold on to me. They want you to let go of control issues. Uh, this person is saying in that song, Ty Dollar, I need you to be about we. They're thinking about you a lot. They don't want you to think about things like you're a single person. No, they say we. So this is a person right here that um that that's asking you to let the situation unfold by itself organically. Don't force the hands of nature. Don't force the hands of God. Um, you're soon you will see. I'm hearing soon you will see that it was worth waiting for. Now there is some unrequited love or was some unrequited love. So this is this could be a person that's saying, okay, I know I didn't love you correctly <clears throat> the way I should have, but I want to show you I know better now. I don't just know better. I'm going to do better. So some of you all, you can expect something very soon to take place with you and your divine counterpart. The first thing I want to clarify is that um, unrequited love. Let's see what the ham sandwich that is. Because the card says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So someone here could already have a made up mind saying, nah, you know, I know that person could have been um, a good person for me, but I don't think we're good to each other or good for each other. <coughs> Excuse me. What's the unrequited love here, Holy Spirit? What's the unrequited love? God darn. Somebody wants to make up for that. The star card. The two of wands, the page of wands, the seven of wands. Ooh, the three of swords. Okay, so somebody here has broken your heart for somebody, for someone here. Yep, they've broken your heart. The thing of the matter is this person right here, they know they disappointed you. This could be a person that breaks promises. They made a promise. I'm never going to do this again. I won't do that again. And they keep doing the same thing they said they weren't going to do. So this person right here, not only do they make mistakes, they could have a pattern of something. They're, they're consistent at being inconsistent. I keep hearing promise breaker. They broke a promise. The thing of the matter is what they want to show you is they, they want to right that wrong. They do have good intentions. They regret that. They're lonely. They're missing you. They're bored. This is a person that was saying, you know, I didn't show you the, the proper love because I was, I was distracted. I didn't see what was right before my eyes. What's that saying? I couldn't see the woods for the forest or the trees for the forest. However, that little saying goes, what they were saying. It's like what was right before their eyes, they didn't recognize it. But all along, you were right there. And see the Wheel of Fortune card? They're saying, don't go against the grain of time. Don't go against the good things. It's going to happen. The will is turning. Things are shifting. Please allow it. This person is saying, let God settle this case. Not you, not them. Because this is a person that feels like you all are meant to come together. Um, Some of you all, others of you all, a person, I, I can tell a person feels like you're meant to come back together. It's destiny. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's some activity around your throat chakra. Yours or theirs or the both of you all. 
they could have while they were distracted they could have been distracted and they yeah the, the blues are blocked off on the three of swords they could have had like um spiritual mucus and, and they were not speaking to you they had spiritual mucus and they were clogged up yep they could have had spiritual tonsil stones and you know them things stink number one them little balls in your throat so they couldn't speak oh my god now i hope they ain't had no other balls in their mouth i don't know oh my god anyway anyway child let's just see let's just see this divine counterpart dang the ten of wands mm -hmm. see this is somebody here who want to right their wrong and they have had a hard time so this is what it is some of you all this person right here they were telling you to let go of control issues why because they were very they were very very controlling now this person right here had to gain the strength and the confidence and become so i was right remember that word i said earlier when i first started i said it's not a coward they could have been a coward before when they broke your heart they didn't acknowledge it they could have shunned you ignored it um acted as if it didn't you know bother them somebody here was nonchalant about a situation more so about you and now they're like man i want i want to make this up to you i want to make this right this king of swords see this king of swords has a nonchalant attitude that he or she is regretting because what they're hoping and wishing is is to fulfill a certain part of their destiny with you because they feel like you are meant to be together yep the ace of swords that's the truth of the matter what's the ten of wands this is, this is a person who's been having a hard time. They've been trying to get through you. Some of you all, you have raised your standards, which is good. Others of you all, you didn't put that ass on block. Good for them as well. Others of you all, you just not playing with them. You didn't set, you didn't set boundaries. And now they're like, oh my God, you're making it so hard for me. It's like, as soon as I get the courage, as soon as I get the strength, as soon as I get the, you know, the ability to come towards you, you block me, you disregard me. You're not letting me in. You won't even listen to me. You're making it harder than what it has to be. You're making it challenging and you should because what's worth waiting for is worth fighting for. So a person is telling you, okay, I was worth waiting for. This was worth waiting for. You saying, okay, well, good. My ass is worth fighting for. You can find a way around that block. Let me see you do it. <laughs> this person is saying y'all should step. <laughs> They're saying y'all should step in the name of love. This person is like, okay, do you not care about me? Huh, Queen of Cups? I thought you were loving. I thought you were kind. I thought you were forgiving. What happened to all of that? Where all this hard stuff come at? See, what was easy to them before, they took for granted. So some of you all could have switched up and became nonchalant. You could have matched their energy. Oh, I can be nice, but I can be nasty as well. I can be nice. I can be cutthroat as well. I can be nice. I cannot be bothered with your ass at all. <laughs> How about that? How you like them apples? Oranges? Bananas? How you like that? Grapes? Whatever. Eat it. See, this person realized you're not picking up what they were putting down. You're not falling for anything because you decide to stand for something yourself. All right, so they made it hard for themselves. That's all it is. What's the 10 of wands? We ain't, we ain't feeling sorry for them cry babies. You know, we have, you know, yeah. Yeah, you ain't got to feel that sorry for them. Because this is a person that wanted you to wait for some reason. And you're saying, well, if it's meant to be, it's going to be meant to be. You'll fight for me. And it's not that you're asking this person to fight. Some of you all, you just switch up the game. You've gone in a different direction. You put them on block change your phone for some of you all raise your standard you won't compromise it's, well it's not even about compromising you won't settle for what you know is less than what you're worth you know your worth and this this could be someone here who kind of tested you to because they could have thought you didn't know your worth not even regret that because they're having a hard time proving to you baby i apologize baby i was wrong oh you was wrong huh 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 adam Huh? You was wrong, Tim. Huh? Huh, Lily? You was wrong, Lee? Huh? Huh, Patrick? Huh? Huh? How clean? You was wrong? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You wasn't wrong. Yeah. Okay. So y'all giving them a little pushback. That's good. What's the Ten of Wands here? Oh, yeah, honey. So you done made it hard for them to walk away. You raising your standard, you changing up how you answer your phone calls for them, your availability. You're not available for BS, and that's what somebody who was giving you, BS. And so the thing of the matter is they regret that. The Knight of Cups is waiting 
tonight of wands you some of you all this person may still want to be a little sleep because they want some sex they want to you know talk things over let me hit it they want you to give it up others of you all this person is waiting to work things out to take this journey with you like get on the back of this horse just go somewhere let's do something let me apologize to you. Let me make it up to you. So it's like they're waiting on you, but you've made it hard for them to say, I, I can't just walk away. Do you want me to walk away? You made you made them you made them challenge themselves when they thought they were challenging you. All right. What's the strength card and the sun card? Now, some of you all be careful because if you again, if you can get pregnant or if you can get someone pregnant, that energy is here. So don't y'all go, don't go be no pussy, baby. That's what they want, honey. They want to get you. They want to get you. But you didn't miss it. Ooh, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. See here? The death card. So, lastly but not least, this, there's a change that's taken place in this connection. The changes that, that happened were needed. Some of y'all put a firm a firm line across being played with a you know you tolerate it enough you're not saying it your actions show it and while you've tolerated some things you've healed it your counterpart knows that and i told you the three of wands they're waiting on you this person is saying baby i'm yours <laughs> If you want me, if you need me, I love you forever. This person asks that you take their hand. They're waiting on you. So it's like, nah, you need to grow up. You need to get some, get yourself together. If you're going to be out here holding, go out here and hold. But that don't mean I'm going to sit here like an elf on the shelf. And that does not mean I'm not going to enjoy my life with someone else. So you've given this person something to think about. Your divine counterpart is looking like, okay, I have no choice but to change. I can either change my ways for me. And hopefully they'll see it or I can change up my strategy to get them. Some of you all, a person has changed their ways because they realize they screwed up. They've missed out on a real one. Others of you all, this person is changing their strategy. They may try to fluff your butter, which kiss your behind, um, so they can butter those pancakes. Get a little bit. I want you to give it up. So be be mindful which um, storyline is yours. This is this person didn't think. They never thought you would release them. Oh, I did the wrong one. All right, Holy Spirit, how you want to close this out? Yep, they're watching you. Observation. They're watching you, and they're they're watching you become very um, fortunate. And they're noticing the fruit of your labor, meaning you put in this work to heal yourself. You put in this work to feel better. You put in this work to do better. And this person's like, oh, my God, now I'm playing the waiting game. For some of you all, a person that showed you unrequited love, you switched up the energy. Now you're showing them unrequited love. You're unbothered when they were unbothered before, and it's bothering them. All right. Self-love, honey. Self-love, true love. This person truly does love you, but they know for sure you truly love yourself. And y'all, definitely, some of you are on different pages. Because somebody here still has a slickness. They think sex can solve everything. Or they think they have a slick tongue. They can, you know, fast talk you or smooth talk you into something. But they're realizing, okay, you know, it ain't working like it used to work. This is a past life love that you have made make some decisions about their life so you did what you were supposed to do you shine the light on them like look at your own self and you play with yourself like that i don't know what you heard about me yeah but they can't get this bull ish out of you because you are strictly rejecting and what you're rejecting is bull ish and they know that and they needed to know that all right little bull let's get a card to see what they potentially may do though just for those that want to know all right good it is within the possible and likely outcome of this person's actions off the chain, off the death card. The possible and likely actions off the death card. Oh, it's good. What can they expect? Uh oh, what can they expect? Holy oh, Spirit. The Five of Swords, the Death Card, the um <laughs> Knight of Wands, <laughs> the um Tower Card, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, let me tell you this. Number one, somebody here is not going to stop until they get you um, back. That's for some of you all. Others of you all, this is somebody who, who wants to sleep with you. And it's not, for some of you all, it's not just about sex. It could be a person that's exceptionally horny for your sex, whatever y'all do. Others of you all, this is a person that's going to take their time 
to inch up on you. It's like they're going to keep creeping up on you. You know how you see a little, um, you can tell from my, the perimeter of your eye, at your periphery, that a car is coming. See, when you when they know you looking or they know you know that they're coming, they duck off. Because they want to sneak up on you. And that's their plan. But this person right here, they're not letting go. For some of you all, I'm telling you, this is a person that's determined to get in these. Are there any more rooms? Is there any more room for me in those jeans? They want to get in your panties. They, or they want to get in your underwear. They're determined to get you back one more time. This person has a point to prove not only to themselves, but to you as well, that you're theirs. Because they're holding on to you very tightly. So this could be someone here that has control issues. And this is a person right here that's determined to show you, baby, I changed. I didn't die on the inside. I'm not the same no more. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please, Sophia. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Anyway, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Aries, and Aries. Aries came out three times. I feel like it's a very aggressive energy after you all. Tower card. This may this person you may pull something out of this person that you never thought they may pop up, they may show up, or they may act a fool for some of you all. But they're determined to get you back into this four of wands. Some of you all are determined to get you back into their house, back into their bedroom, you know, back into um that type of lifestyle. If this was a sneaky link you cut off, this person is saying, Oh hell no, I knew you ain't taking my love and my sex giving it to nobody else. Others of you all, this is a person that's saying, nah, we're going to have this relationship. I'm holding on to this. I ain't letting you go nowhere. I'm hurt. I know I hurt you, but you irritating me too. You are irritating the crap out of your um divine counterpart because they're not having their way with you. When the um when the, the Aries came out three times, you know how we roll the dice to give more clarification. I dang Aries again. Aries, Libra, Taurus, Leo, and Taurus. This person is determined to have their way in your life. Peace and blessing. Great day. Namaste. I hope this helps.